All right, what we're doing today is a butt joint with aluminum cans, pop cans or beer cans or whatever you have kicking around. Uh, our jig, we have an actual jig for this. It's set up like this. So your cans go in the middle of the jig in a piece of angle iron. One of the key things that you need to do is make sure your ground is on the ends of the cans. If you try and ground in the middle, it's just gonna blow big giant holes and the electricity is not gonna flow right. A couple other tricks. You're gonna to wanna to get a stainless steel wire brush and brush the uh, surfaces of the cans that you're about to weld. Uh, you usually get one of them little ones, it kinda of looks like a toothbrush. Our uh, end shape on our tungsten is gonna to be tapered with a ball, like this picture right here. And uh, the most important thing is your start. The start, when you get it to fuse into the two cans, is really hard to do. So you're gonna start on your filler metal. Lay, lay your filler metal right in between the cans get a ball and then wet it into each side and just keep going after that. So let's get out of the lab and see what we can do here. All right, these are the two cans we're gonna weld together. The one on the left we've already prepped. Uh, one of the main things you gotta make sure you do is clean this off with a stainless steel wire brush that has only been used on aluminum. And we'll show you how to do that here in a second. All right, this is how we clean it off. When you start to get a dull shine, roll it a little bit, keep going. Roll it a little bit until you get all the way around. All right, this is our setup. We made a little jig here. Uh, it's got some springs with a bolt going through to kind of push it together. You want to make sure your grounds are on your end. If it's on the sides of the cans, it'll short out and cause you problems. And then you can see we have our ground down here on the actual jig. So it's pretty close to where we're going to be welding. All right, we're about to start welding our uh, cans together here. Our machine settings, our TIG, remote remote, high frequency continuous, 34 amps. So when you have it floored, it'll be 34 amps. And of course, we're going to be on alternating current. We also have a balanced dig over here. We want it on max clean. What we're going to do is to get this started, it's the hardest part. You want to get a, a ball of aluminum on here, and then wet it into each side, and then start welding around. All right, now what we did here, this is the hardest part was getting it started. So we made it ball up right in the middle here, then it wetted into this can, and then I rolled back over here to let it wet into that can, and we started taking down about three quarters of an inch. That's the hardest part. Now all you gotta do is start it in this crater right here, and keep on rolling, and use the, use the weld as a heat sink, basically, and just wet it out into the cans. And after you're done with each pass, Come back, get your stainless steel brush and clean it up again. And just keep going.
This is the first one we did. We started with the old Natty ice can and we discovered in the start we rinsed it out and uh, when we started it steam was forming so we had a little bit of a glob in the start but we got her to fuse and once we got it to fuse it went pretty smooth. Back to the start. Then we went to some Bud Light cans. They came out all right, but we had a little bit of contamination on one side of the can, so it jumped around and we had to put a little bit more filler than we wanted, but came out pretty good. All right, the last one we did, we went out and found a bush can and a Mountain Dew can in the back of this guy's truck, and it came out pretty damn good. Pop cans tend to be thinner. They wanted to jump to the bush can side through most of the weld, but it came out all right. All right, we just finished up welding our cans together. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Well, I'd like to thank my cameraman, 3D Machines. Good?